Now, following the deadly bandit attack on uh, Adamadusa village in uh, Kajuro local government area of Kaduna State Catholic Church, Justice Department and Peace Caritos uh, Kaduna Diocese have donated food items and relief materials worth 3.5 million naira to the victims of bandit attacks to cushion some of their challenges, restore hope of livelihood and build confidence of the community. The recent attack on Adamo Duse uh, community left 100 persons dead, 28 houses raised, with several other uh, orders injured and displaced. The Catholic Archbishop of Cardinal Archdiocese, uh, Most Reverend Father Matthew Agadu who visited victims, commended their resilience to stay in the community despite bandit attack, noting that government at all levels must provide security to its citizens as well as ensure the community's safety to provide food to the state and the nation. And knowing the challenge of food we have in this country, and this is an agrarian community, the labor family and the food they, produce, they don't only eat here, they supply. A lot of us living in Kaduna and other places, we depend on these people here. And that they are they are resolved, they have taken a decision to stay here. I think it's something that government should do everything and anything possible to ensure that this community is assisted to stay here and to, to look after themselves and their assistants to simply do that. And we are challenging them to live up to their uh, um, promises that they will make this country better. Mm -hmm. There's no, nobody has any excuse to leave this country worse than you, you, you met it. You promise Nigerians that you're going to make it better and therefore do whatever. The coordinator of JDPC, Reverend Father Joshua Achar, said the community are in their needs of food, clothing and other source of livelihood. Stressing that shelter is the primary concern while calling on all to come to the rescue of the victims to alleviate their plight. Happy to see what they're doing for us because we are ready to meet many things to help ourselves to continue to stay for here for this, for this place. Our government will assist us for this place because uh, the insecurities uh, is not uh, not fine for the for our place here. So we are begging for uh, local government or state government to continue to assist us for this place. Some of the victims and beneficiaries shared their experiences and appealed to government to provide adequate security to the communities to go back to farms. Happy to see what they're doing for us because we are ready to meet many things to help ourselves to continue to stay for here for this, for this place. Our government will assist us for this place because uh, the insecurities uh, is not uh, not fine for the, for our place here. So we are begging for uh, local government or state government to continue to assist us for this place. Six o'clock by then. We just wake and we never pray by that time. They start just enter, start shooting anyhow. We start running. We just need them. They take us. So they went to one house here, carry people, enter another house, carry people. From there, so and um, uh, army people just enter by then. They start shooting anyhow. They come with us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.